One of the things that people ask me all the time is like, what are college students like these days? They want to know, how, are, is, are, is it really as bad as we think it is? Are students really as sensitive as we imagine they are? How easy is it to teach these days, right? So what's it like when people talk about, oh, young people are so offended nowadays? I'm like, well, I don't, I don't know about that. I think you got to come talk to my students. Like, how much time, I ask people, how much time do you spend in a classroom? How much time, like, who, who have you talked to? You say, well, I have a nephew, or I have a niece, or I have this. And I'm like, well, hang on a second. You got to sit and talk to people. Well, hang on. Can we just start right here before I show you some stuff? Like, when, when I, can someone answer this? Like, what, what do we, if someone asks you that, how would you define getting offended? I don't necessarily want to say getting your feelings hurt, but it's just like something that rubs you the wrong way. You don't like how maybe it was said or how it came off or the content of what's being said. Because mm -hmm. I feel like sometimes people take like, I don't know, calling people out on certain things is like, oh, your feelings are hurt, your butt hurt, ah, whatever. But it's like, no, it's just certain stuff. I just feel like sometimes you just can't say. Like some t people are just more sensitive and you than can't others. and you can't say it because or you can't say it or you shouldn't say it mm -hmm. i would say shouldn't because i mean at the end of the day everybody can say what they want but it's just being mindful of other people okay so so somebody else hop in what, what do you what's offended me? i think it's when someone's intentionally ignorant because some people just don't understand certain topics or anything outside of their culture but if someone says something to intentionally irk you and annoy you and piss you off, then I think that's offensive. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, okay, all right. So, uh, so there's a for you. There's often an intentionality to it. Yeah. Like it's not just an accident, but yeah. Okay, is there a difference there? What if it's an accident? Is it less offensive? Yeah, because if someone like if someone says something and it hold the mic closer. Oh, sorry. If someone says something and like they obviously didn't mean to intend it, they'd be like, oh, I'm sorry. Explain it further. Some people are like, don't explain it further. I'll debate you on something you already know. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Got it. All right. D so something that destiny that you said that, that I want to throw out here, there's like, it seems to me there's a difference between being offended and being hurt, right? You mentioned hurt. So like offended maybe is more connected to the brain and hurt maybe is more connected to the heart. It's like, uh, you know, that that as opposed to that annoys me, that really stings me or something. Does that ring for you at all? Tyler, do you got? Yeah, when, I, when someone gets offended, I feel like it's due to a difference in like viewpoint on something. Like there's something you can do that's directly offensive, like being mean, and that's like sort of the hurting your feelings. And then there's like a difference in opinion. And then that's when like you get offended that somebody has like a different viewpoint than you or something. These are just some headlines that I took from random articles. I mean, I, a lot of times what I do is I jump online and I just quickly throw stuff out. These are some random articles. Welcome to, I mean, you look at that, to America, the land of the perpetually whiny and offended. Okay, that's you all in particular. Young Americans are too sensitive about speech, meaning you're a bunch of whiners. And universities filled with gutless snowflakes. These are from the Pew, Pew Research data. Uh, people need to be more careful with their language and not offended. And I think what you want to point, what you want to look at here is the fact that um, these are conservative leaning people, liberal leaning people. And notice how the number gets higher. People need to be more careful with their language and not offend, right? So 65, 28% of 65 year olds are, who are conservative leaning, 28%. The, the highest number of people are older people. So I'm not sure this is just a, like a young person's issue. I mean, people are saying, listen, y'all, you need to be more careful. Like, come on. So, you're, you know, your grandparents are saying this. Um, another one. Uh, so people should be careful with what they say so that they do not offend others with their words. So conservative-leaning people, 23% are saying yes. People in the center, 42%. And, you know, people who are really liberal leaning are 65% of them are saying, yeah, you really need to be more careful in the words. Being too easily offended is a what problem in American today, uh, in, in the U.S. today, uh, major problem. 65% um, of Americans say, yeah, people are too easily offended. 
uh, 28% think it's a minor problem, or, and then 6% think it's not a problem. And all, notice how people who lean more Republican, more conservative, tend to think it's a major problem that people are too easily offended. That would be all of you snowflakes out here, and you're all snowflakes just because you're here. But look here. It's the, this is kind of interesting. So major problem, minor problem. So let's just call it a problem. So people who lean right, so the people over here, it's 83% of people who lean over here think it's kind of a problem that, you know, the saying things that are offensive to others is kind of a problem. Whereas 96% of people over here, there's not much of a difference between 83 and 96%. So basically, people in the United States kind of agree that, like, yeah, it's a bit of a problem. The people are offensive. Like, come on. Like, don't be offensive. Be nice. Like, what the hell? Okay, next one. Uh, just so you know, people saying things that are very offensive to others is a major problem in the U.S. today. Here's how this shakes out between uh, ancestry groups. So, like, okay. You can see that white people, um, a, a minority, less than 50% of white people are thinking, like, yeah, this is actually a, 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 a serious problem, and a major problem in the U.S. today. And you notice that only 16, you know, for those of you who have this, this idea that, you know, that, that black people are like always so on edge and black people are always like so easily offended and black people are like really thin skinned and so on. I just want you to, I just want to point out only 69%, which mind you is, is more than white people, but it's still only 69%. So, um, all right, next slide. And woke universities produce unhirable uh, <laughs> undergraduates. Yeah. This should matter to all of you, man. Because this is how you're seen. Because this is a woke university. Penn State. How does this play itself out in your lives? Honestly, I feel like in comparison to other like, international students, I don't really have people walk on eggshells around me. Like, the most people that I've encountered that when they found out I'm not, like, white or, like, that I'm Middle Eastern and would be, like, afraid to say something wrong was mostly older generations. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, if I'm in an Uber or something and they find out that I'm Middle Eastern, they're like, oh, uh, yeah, I was in the army once. Like, I'm like, okay. Like, so I don't know. <laughs> and what, you know? So, and other people are, like, chill about it. So I don't really have people walking around the eggshells. Around, okay, around you. Around me, yeah. And how, how about you? How often are you walking around in eggshells? Like, how, how does that play into your life? Um, I just don't think about it. Like, you mean when I, with who exactly? Yeah, interacting with other students. Like right now, how much, how much right now, how yeah. much you, are you thinking about not wanting to offend somebody out there? I don't feel like I'm going to say anything that's going to offend anyone. Because if, like, if I go with the intention of wanting to learn more, I, like, I don't feel like it's offensive. So okay. I don't, yeah. So you're not walking around with no. that. How about, how about somebody else? Tyler, how about you? So I feel like I'm not really walking on eggshells that much in life. Like most people that I talk to, they're fairly tolerable, like to like even differing opinions. Like maybe my one friend like thinks people should wear masks, but even though I don't wear a mask, like we're still friends and hang out or something. And I'm not really afraid of like saying something that might offend somebody either. Like because you're going to have a differing opinion from somebody else, and they might get offended, and that's just okay. And you just have to accept that, I guess. Okay, so this is not... So this issue is not really driving your life. It's... What's the issue? <laughs> of being... Of being of woke? Offending people, offending people. Of, of being offended... I'm not sure I have to think about it. Well, hang on, hang on. No, stay, stay, stay with it for a second. No, give me, give me your, your, your quick answer, bro. Like your fast answer. Like, no, how, not really. How, yeah. No. I feel like I'm not worried about it that much. You're not worried about it that about much? About like offending people or like what people say if it offends me, like. If it offends you, have you ever been offended? Has someone ever said anything that offended you? People have said things that hurt my feelings, but, like, I don't feel like that's being offended. And, like... Hmm. 
Can, can, wait, it's like, what we? does it mean to be offended? Okay, and hang on. Like, hang, can we go to hurt your feelings? Can sure. you? Do you remember what they said? Um, it's usually like hateful, like you're a bitch or a, a pussy or something, something like that. <laughs> well, okay, hang on. That that goes beyond hurting your feelings. I mean, I would think it would just piss you off. Yeah. Like, well, how did you respond? Like, f you or? I was kind of just like quiet about it. Like, I. Like, unresponsive. Yeah. Because, okay. like, I feel like you shouldn't really try and play into that. Okay, sort okay. Of, okay. So hurt your, hurt your feelings. And then, like, but you just, like, kind of went with it. Yeah. Okay. Okay.